Hello everybody, I'm Bill Rabinowitz along with Joey Kaufman. We're here at historic Wrigley Field where Ohio State defeated Northwestern 31-7 this afternoon. Actually at 11 a.m. start local time, which might account for the fact that Ohio State kind of snoozed through the first quarter and a half. Uh, Northwestern really dominated the game. It took a 7-0 lead, then Ohio State woke up, scored three touchdowns in about six minutes. Took a 21-7 lead at halftime, scored on the first possession of the third quarter. That was pretty much the game. It was, in a lot of ways, reminiscent of the game they played here, not here, but up in Northwestern two years ago. That was a windy condition game. There were a lot of other factors, but 11 a.m. start local time. And Ohio State just had this sneaky start where you're playing a team that's at the bottom of the Big Ten standings, and you're favored by multiple touchdowns, and the crowd is just kind of those. Well, oh, so. It oh, was an Ohio crowd. State crowd. This this was at least, we're trying to figure out 80%, 90%. I don't know the numbers, no way to know, but it was definitely a pro Ohio State crowd. Look, Ohio State has a huge fan base, a lot of Ohio State grads in Chicago. Northwestern's a small private school by Big Ten standards. This doesn't have a fan base, but Ohio State does, and they, they showed out in, in red. Yeah, they showed out, and, and this was probably a bucket list game for a lot of fans because how often are you going to get to see Ohio State play? as one of the most historic baseball cards. Right. It's a novelty in and of itself, and that, that probably contributed some of the, the turnout. And uh, overall, it was a slow start, but they, they did turn it on in the second and third quarters, and it was comfortable lead by halftime, they went 31-7. I should say that we kind of switched the blue sky in terms of our social media presence, and this guy, all game, with the baseball reference, all game with, you know, every baseball reference you can see so. I'm glad there's only one game of Wrigley Field. I hope they just don't play at Madison Square Garden or something like that. Yeah, that, that, would be a, that would be a tight, tight seat. You might see some slam dunks uh, by the my guys that they play um, there. Let's talk about some of the... Well, I, this was probably yeah, what, a what, very what, special what game. Like? Very special. Well, I think if we just take, take away in terms of what it means to the team, I thought Will Howard was really, really accurate with his throws. Even the ones that weren't completions were really well thrown. He didn't have a bad throw that I recall all game. A couple, I mean, his stats were not crazy. He was 15 for 24. Some of those were just throwaways, you know, just avoid the sack, throw the ball away. But he had some really, really nice throws. Uh, in terms of the, like the personal story thing, look, this is Cardale Tate's homecoming. We all know the tragedy that happened to Cardale. His mom was, was killed uh, a couple years ago with my gunfire. My, you know, Drive-by shooting. Drive by shooting, and you know this game comes back, scores two touchdowns. Joey's writing about him. You see, you know, you get about 30, 40 family and friends here at the game. That ain't get tickets from from teammates, and you get the end of twice. Maybe you had a chance to get the third time right. late on a fourth down attempt. Yeah, special game for him. Um, you know, the defense was was pretty shaky, honestly, the first quarter and a half, and then it just clamped down. And I think Northwestern got. And for the next five possessions, they didn't get a first down. Um, you know, Jack Storia made a big play early in the game on the first drive to, to cause a fumble. Uh, Davis and Igudosin recovered it. Um, but then, look, I think that this defense, as well as it's played, is not quite airtight. I mean, Denzel Burke is still struggling. They picked they, on him. They picked it, on it him. It seems like teams know, maybe since the Oregon game, that he's vulnerable because Northwestern went at him. They did early, and they know Davis and Nick reputation for Anziness. being physical. Yeah, yeah. They he got, got a pass interference call today, yeah. and then teams. I I think the PI call he got was probably just legit deserved. Yeah, but it, you know it's not going to get overlooked because there's a reputation. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, I thought Sonny Styles played a really good game. I think he had two sacks, two pass breakups, almost had an interception on one of them. I thought he played really well. Um, you know, but I, I do. I mean, I'm curious to see Ohio State against another really good offense, and we're probably going to see it next week against Indiana. I mean, you know, the huge question about Indiana is who they play. Well, they really haven't played anybody all that good. It'll be a huge test for both teams. Um, I'm very curious to see how Ohio State's defense matches up against what's been a very explosive Indiana offense. And this season's kind of moved in waves, in a way where you had. The slow start, and then it ramped up to the Oregon game, and then it you know, you took a slight tip with a bye week in Nebraska, picked up against Nebraska. We've had maybe a sort of seen a two week lull here where you're playing the bottom of the Big Ten, and then now we're now the now the coaster is is moving up with Indiana and Michigan, and these these are the two weeks that will decide 
truly where the Ohio State makes it to Indianapolis to, uh, to play in the Big Ten Championship game. They control their own destiny. So if they win the next two weeks, they're gonna they're gonna be there. They'll, they would be they would have the tiebreaker with Indiana head to head with a, with a, with a win over the Hoosiers, even though they're unbeaten in Big Ten play. So the games really from this point on they, they matter a, a great deal. Yeah, I mean, this was the last of the games. They were kind of like, okay, let's get through this one. Or, or they could kind of play around and play with yeah. their food a little bit and still, still yeah. get a win. Yeah, so anyway, we need to wrap it up here. They're going to boot us off the field. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and follow all of our coverage at thestatch.com. Thank you very much.